I've got the door for you. Slippers on. <laughs> Have a good day. My feet are getting wet. And these slippers. My feet are getting wet. And Brandon. There it goes. It's snowing out. They're probably going to pick it up till tomorrow. Damn it. I forgot because there was a day off. Alright. But what you see? It is snow. Yes, it is. No. What's it's snow. Yeah. Just look at the cars. There's snow in the car. <gasps> but maybe. Okay. Mama, get you your socks. Stop off at the store and spend a couple cents and see if I see if you oh okay. These guys your food. I guess these guys a can of food. It just seem like you want something different. Obviously you don't like now. I told Mr. Man that before. And he just wants to waste it. Okay, there. All right, let's put your f stuff away here. Weather, temperature, climate, and what's this? Characteristics. Weather, temperature, climate, and okay. All right. Well, what, how about, 
if you use, you want to use one of your old stuff that you build, like one of your Lego pieces or something for it. Your, not the old one, but the stuff that you build with mommy. You're doing art craft. Mommy's going to make new pillows. I'm going to make a pillow. I, in high school, they were going to have, I was supposed to do one in high school, but I never, uh, never finished that class. <laughs> I was not interested in freaking sewing in high school. Not at all. I did not want to sew in high school. This is, was the least thing on my mind in high school, was to sew. And, in Clearview, they sewed a pillowcase in, in Clearview High School, they sewed pillowcases in 10th grade. I guess all the 10th graders in Clearview High School, they sewed pillowcases. In Deffert, they, they made poodle skirts. Skirts, and they sewed something. They sewed skirts or something like that. I don't remember what else they sewed. But in Deffert, they sewed clothes, and in and, and Clearview High School, they did pillows. So, who did the pillowcase idea? Because that's where Clearview High School did. And I think Mr. Burlingame, Mr. Burlingame's wife, graduated the year before I did. Did she go, did he... Did his wife go to school with Dawn Leeds? Did Mr. Burlingame's wife go to school with all the assholes? Well, not assholes. Well, with one of the assholes, head stalkers of my life from Clearview High School. Good job. Peace be with me and my children. Truth be told. God bless. Take care. And have a wonderful day. Because you're going to be found out. And eventually I find out who each and every one of you is related to. Friends with. Buddies with. Etc. 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 And you either for me or you can take what they did to me and run with your own mind. But you all will be found out. And it will you will go down for every day that they do this to me to my as soon as because they they had to put another needle in me because they couldn't get to my fucking back otherwise. They couldn't inject me with no more bullshit. They couldn't, they were getting ready to stop, they couldn't stop my beta, they couldn't do a beta blocker or whatever the hell they want to do. I don't know, understand that bullshit. All I know is I got people coming in my classrooms and they're stalking me. Stalked me at Coster County College and they're stalking me at Rowan. Good job. I've, I've never been to any other college but Gloucester County College. I understand me? I've never been to any other college but Gloucester County College in Seoul, New Jersey. So, you want to keep lying, you little bitches want to do an online courses in my name, or online courses and blah blah blah, you will be found out. Good morning world, how are you? Good morning. Let's do some behavior analysis. Um, excuse me? Hmm, let me think. They stalked me. They caused me harm. They caused my children harm. And then blame it on me.